Eric Ten Hag told he can't play Manchester United defender due to a strange rule. Man United's injury crisis has been an opportunity for their young defenders to make an impact for the first-team squad in the Premier League. Manchester United's young defender Sonny Aljofri is understood to be ineligible for the first team due to an agreement with National League club Altrincham. In February, Aljofri joined the playoff-challenging fifth-tier club on loan until the end of the season as part of a joint registration deal. The idea behind this is that the 19-year-old gains experience in competitive football while also benefiting from experience around Carrington and with the under-21s. However, the only issue is that while Aljofri can play for the academy in the Premier League 2, he cannot feature for the first team. When this deal was agreed upon, this would not have been seen as much of an issue, but the injury crisis at Old Trafford has severely affected Eric Ten Hag's defensive options. Lisandro Martinez, Johnny Evans, Rafael Varane, Victor Lindelof, Luke Shaw, and Tyrell Malaysia are all unavailable, meaning the youth team has been turned to to help out. Willy Camboala has made seven Premier League appearances this season, while Harry Amass, Habib Ogane, and Ethan Wheatley were all named on the bench in the draw against AFC Bournemouth. According to The Sun, Al Joffrey would have also been in contention for a place in the matchday squad against Liverpool in the FA Cup if it had not been for this rule. In the summer transfer window, it is expected that Ten Hag will look to strengthen his defense. Varane's contract expires at the end of the campaign, and it is unclear at this stage whether or not the option to extend his stay by a further year will be approved. Meanwhile, Andre Onana has opened up on how his Manchester United teammates helped him overcome a troubling start at Manchester United. He has also given his thoughts on the future of beleaguered boss Eric Ten Hag, with whom he has a good relationship from their time together at Ajax. United signed Onana for $47 million in the summer from Inter Milan, but the Champions League finalist endured an error-strewn start to his time at Old Trafford. Fast forward to April, and he has been named the club's Player of the Month for March, having posted stunning form after returning from the Africa Cup of Nations. Six months before, I was seen as the best. Then it can be that in six months, everything changes, and you just have to deal with the situation. In life, everything is temporary, Onana told Sky Sports. We are in this together. I want to thank Tom, Heaton, Alte, Bayender, Richard Hardis, and Craig Mawson. It's been a difficult time, a difficult situation, a difficult start for me. They were there with me. They told me, Andre, listen, we know who you are. We were sitting in front of the TV. We were watching you playing the Champions League semi-final. You were almost close to winning against City in the final. So we all know who you are. Take your time. Most of the keepers who have been here at Manchester United had difficulty in the beginning. Those encouraging words have helped Onana to become one of United's most reliable players in recent months. There were high-profile mistakes against Bayern Munich and Galatasaray in the Champions League and a clangor against Brentford in the Premier League. It left fans questioning whether the spend was worth it and doubting the club's decision to let go of longtime favorite David De Gea. Fast forward to April, and he has been named the club's Player of the Month for March, having posted stunning form after returning from the Africa Cup of Nations. Six months before, I was seen as the best. Then it can be that in six months, everything changes, and you just have to deal with the situation. In life, everything is temporary, Onana told Sky Sports. We are in this together. I want to thank Tom, Heaton, Alte, Bayander, Richard Hardis, and Craig Mawson. It's been a difficult time, a difficult situation, a difficult start for me. Again, Manchester United could see outgoing and incoming transfers from Serie A over the summer, according to new reports. Inter Milan are eyeing up a cut-price move for Aaron Wan-Bissaka as a potential replacement for Denzel Dumfries if he leaves the club this summer. Meanwhile, Manchester United could pick up Juventus star Adrian Rabiot on a free deal 
If he chooses to leave Italy in the offseason, Gazzetta dello Sport reported that Inter could move to bring Juan Bissaka to the club for $15 million, roughly half the fee they hope to receive if they sell Dutchman Dumfries in the summer following stalled contract talks. Juan Bissaka has made 13 starts for Eric Ten Hag's team in the Premier League this season, but may be classed surplus to requirements at the end of the campaign. Rabio also looks likely to be making his way away from Juventus when his contract expires at the end of the season, according to Goal. The Italian giants agreed a one-year deal to retain Rabio's services for the 2023-24 campaign, but they accept that he won't sign another extension this time around. The 29-year-old Frenchman is set to attract further interest from Man United, although they may have to fend off Eddie Howe's Newcastle for his signature. Man United were investigating Rabio as an option last summer, but chose to bring Sofian Amrabat on loan from Fiorentina instead. Amrabat is set to return to his parent club in the summer, whilst Man United are also planning to sell Christian Eriksen at the end of the season, rather than letting him leave for nothing in 2025. Moreover, Juan Bissaka's contract with the Red Devils will expire in June 2025. Therefore, the English Premier League giants could be open to a cut-price sale this summer to avoid losing him for free a year later. Like Juan Bissaka, the Dutchman is also running on a contract expiring in 2025. Therefore, Inter would be happy to sell him if they were to receive an offer in the region of 30 million euros this summer. As we reported earlier this week, the 27-year-old has suitors in the Premier League, which may possibly include Aston Villa. So if Dumfries ends up leaving the club, Inter could well identify Juan Bissaka as a direct replacement. As for Tajon Buchanan, the source believes that Simone Inzaghi prefers to deploy him on the left wing. Therefore, the Nerazzurri would certainly need a new player on the right flank in case Dumfries departs. Manchester United travel to Bournemouth for their Premier League game on Saturday evening, whilst in Serie A, Juventus are away to Torino on Saturday, before Inter Milan host Cagliari a little over 24 hours later. Again and again. Welcome back, Red Devils! Manchester United are approaching the end of what's largely been a wretched campaign, and the club's focus is firmly on the future. Boss Eric Ten Hag is unlikely to lead the Red Devils into the Champions League next season, but could still pick up an FA Cup winner's medal, with United facing Coventry in the semi-finals next Sunday. But success at Wembley in May might not save Ten Hag's job, as new co-owner Sir Jim Ratcliffe and his Ineos colleagues are assessing his future. Ratcliffe and co. are also looking towards the summer transfer window, with United hoping to spend while avoiding financial fair play sanctions. Targets are already being mooted, and a new striker to compete with Rasmus Hoylund is high on the list of priorities.